Welcome back, everybody. If you happen to be spending more time outdoors, maybe to protect yourself from COVID-19, you could be putting yourself at risk for something just as serious. We're talking about skin cancer, but we have an expert to help walk you through it because just like everything, detect it early, you are best off. So Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology is live right now to walk us through this. Good morning to you, Dr. Ingraham. When we're taking a look at our own skin, what do you want us looking out for when it comes to various types of skin cancer? You really want to look for things that are growing or changing. I find through the years that patients are the most in tune with their own skin. So they may say, you know, I have a bug bite on my cheek or a pimple. It's been there for a few weeks. It just won't heal. And I always ask them, has it been there more than a month or less than a month? And I find lesions that aren't healing for more than a month oftentimes need to be biopsied to rule out a skin cancer. Okay, and then let's talk about basal cell carcinoma because it is by and far the most common type. And it can be tricky. It can look like eczema or psoriasis. People might not be thinking cancer when they see something red and flaky on their skin. You know, it's a little tricky because a lot of times when people think about skin cancer and skin cancer exams, they're looking for dark spots and moles and changing moles, which is really more associated with melanoma. With basal cell and squamous cell, you can be looking for something very subtle, like you said, Melissa. It can be a little red spot on your nose that just won't heal, a little red spot in your scalp that won't heal or is flaky. They do tend to bleed and grow with time. So something that won't heal, that bleeds and grows, it can be on the legs and arms, face and scalp. I've even seen them inside the ears and inside the nostrils and places where the sun does not shine. All right, so let's talk about what you can do if you do get that, because we don't want people to be scared. Basal cell is typically fairly easily taken care of in that it's not like melanoma and considered deadly for, for the most part. Right. The, the beautiful thing about skin cancer, particularly basal cell, is if caught early, it is very treatable. And that is why you should go to a board certified dermatologist the minute you find a spot that you just aren't sure about. So what you would do is you would go in, we would look at that spot. And what we're looking for again are those changes, things that aren't bleeding or healing. But what you can do to prevent this is not only get a skin check, wear your sunscreen, watch that UV index. You know, the UV index in Houston is very high during peak hours from 10 to 11 about 5 p.m. it can get very high so you want to wear a broad spectrum sunscreen we're looking for things that are SPF 30 or higher UVA and UVB blocking right you want to wear that sunscreen every day even if you're only going to leave your house to go to the gas station your social distancing you're going to come home wear your sunscreen you also want to wear glasses because you can get a basal cell around the eyes you can get them anywhere on the face and you also want to take vitamins like HelioCare which can build up in your system and help prevent skin cancer. Now, if you do find that you have a spot that your dermatologist or your doctor has found that is a basal cell, we do have many procedures now that help to mitigate any kind of harm of the spread of basal cell. And the most important thing is early intervention. So you don't have to be scared. You just have to be informed. You go to your dermatologist, you get a skin biopsy of the lesion if it's necessary, and then you can have Mohs micrographic surgery where we will remove the lesion with a very low risk of recurrence. You can have the lesion treated now with something called electrodesiccation and curatage where we scrape the lesion and also so you can even have the lesion injected or treated with certain creams now. So there are a lot of different options, but again, the biggest thing is, is, is catching it early. And what about dermatologists right now through the pandemic? Your, your office is open, right? I mean, people can come see you if they, they don't have to worry about perhaps getting COVID-19 from coming to the office right now. Right, we are open. We are very, very serious about the prevention of the spread of coronavirus. We have all our employees in masks. Patients must wear masks. We may mask during the visit. We are wiping down all of the surfaces. Certain things can wait, perhaps a rash. We can do a telemedicine visit with you. And we can also do a telemedicine visit with you. Most dermatologists are set up to do a telemedicine visit with you and have a perfunctory exam with you. They can show you a spot and tell you about the spot. Uh -huh. And if it is a basal cell or another skin cancer, and we are concerned, we may have you come in and mm -hmm. do a biopsy in the office. Okay. All right, Dr. Ingraham, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Great to chat. Thank you.